everyone, and welcome to Temple of Games. I am your host, Timothy Harper, and I'm here to give you my thoughts on who could be added into the next Super Smash Bros. game. Whether that could be a port of the Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS, or the brand new installation could be Smash Bros. 5. I have 13 characters to go through who I think should be in the game and most likely will end up in the game at some point. Now, some of these picks are out of this world. Um, and some that are more realistic that are probably going to happen based on their popularity in the video game industry. Now, in this list, I did not pick any crazy, crazy names like another Ryu, I don't feel that, or Return of Snake. But there are some that I feel will be a great addition to the team and can bring their own flavor. I will not go into their moveset, but I'll try to give an idea of what their final move could be. Um, because with, um, she, she, um... Sakurai could easily change their movesets and make them different just like he did with many others like Ganondorf, Captain Falcon giving him a brand new moveset that no one saw coming and become Samus with Falcon Punch. So let's get started with this. Uh, my first pick to be brought into the Smash is the Ice Climbers. The Ice Climbers were a staple of Super Smash Bros. They were my favorite characters. I loved using them and they were in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. However, they were removed in the Wii U and 3DS edition of Smash because I believe Sakurai said that 3DS couldn't handle the aspect of the Ice Climbers being together which is why Zelda and Sheik were split apart. Now that's been eliminated, there is no no reason not to have these guys back. Um, Papa, Papa and Nano, um, I believe I said that correctly, I'm, I'm not used to their names so I do apologize. But they were my favorite characters of the Super Smash Bros. series. When the, I was always great with them and I was ashamed they got cut but they need to be brought back in the next, either the port or the new Smash Bros. game. Another character that needs to be brought back is Wolf or Wolf O'Donnell um, from the Star Fox series. The reason I'm saying this is, yes, he's similar to Falco and Fox, but he was a very unique type character in Brawl. Um, he wasn't perfect. There were some things that could be tweaked, and I believe his final Smash needs to be changed from the R-Wing, from his um, Landmaster. It should be into his R-Wing, which he's most known for. But he was a great villain character. In, in Smash Bros. series, not a lot of villains. And in my list, you'll see quite a few villains added to this list. So, Wolf was a, always a good character. It brought more into the Star Fox series representation, Super Smash Bros., which needs to happen. And I feel that Wolf would be great character. I mean, people loved him. I, I think he should be brought back. There's no reason for him not to be brought back. I mean... You brought back Mewtwo, Lucas, Roy, and all the other characters, bring Wolf back. He's the only character that has not been brought back besides Snake and Pichu and some clones, like a Pichu, Young Link, but they've been replaced. Wolf is, is not a clone. He needs to be brought back. I mean, if you have Lucina in Dark Pit, why not Wolf? Another character that represents Star Fox is Crystal. I think she'd be good because she could have the staff. The staff that was in Star Fox Adventures that many people did not like the game. I, for one, did like Star Fox Adventures. I thought it was a breath of fresh air for the Star Fox series. It's pretty unique and different. And it was a rare game. And it had really good combat control. So the story was actually pretty good except for the ending. But that's another story, another um, conversation for another time. In this, Crystal could have the staff or use a blaster. And she could summon dinosaurs. She could do a lot. Because she was the protector of Dinosaur Planet. And she did, you know, do a lot of stuff. And before she even got with Star Fox crew. So that would be really interesting to see her as a playable character. And it also adds to female representation of Nintendo characters in the Smash Bros. universe. Speaking of representation, like I said earlier, villains have been extremely misrepresented, underrepresented, uh, cut, underrepresented, cut, underrepresented in Super Smash Bros. One being King K. Rool, which the fans are dying to have. I, I think K King K. Rool would be an excellent choice. He's the um, villain of the Donkey Kong Country series. Um, and he, there's so many different iterations of King K. Rool from his boxing days. You could, you could do so much with him. And his final smash could be anything. He just seems perfect. He's a big, strong, heavy character. Could be very unique to play, and I think that'd be awesome. And he's just a different type of character. He's a crocodile, or an alligator, or whichever one. But... I just think it'd be cool to see him as a character. Either I think it's gonna be King K. Rool be the next villain added. I think the fans want it. But not only that, another one that most likely will be added will be the first announcement out of the gate from either the port or the all the installment will be Inkling from the Splatoon series. Inklings are huge in Japan, and that means 
If they're huge in Japan, they're going to Smash. And I think it's a very smart move because Switch Union is big in Japan, but it's not so big here in the United in the Americas and the Europe. So and but Smash is huge. And what's cool about the Smash is it almost highlights a lot of different characters. Like the how it really introduced a lot of Fire Emblem characters to the Western market. Um, in the melee series with Marth and Roy. And people fell in love with those characters and enjoyed it. And I think that almost eventually helped awakening sales, but that's my opinion, because it did broaden the market. Um, so I think Inklings will be cool. I could see their Final Smash being a Callie Marie coming in, or all the Inklings that come in and start spraying their guns everywhere, killing people. I could see that being awesome. So Inklings will most likely will be a character in the next Smash Brothers. My next character on this list is kind of different. I'm surprised he hasn't been added into this yet. And that's Paper Mario. Yes, Mario is in the game. I can understand that Paper Mario plays so different than the original Mario. Paper Mario has a hammer. Paper Mario could call in his buddies. He can call in stars. His moveset could be completely different than many fighters in Super Smash Bros. And Paper Mario as a series is a beloved series by the fans. It's so different. It's an RPG that many people fall in love with. People have wanted, I for one would love Paper Mario in this game. His look would be so cool. A flat piece of paper. If Rob can get in and Mr. Game & Watch, Paper Mario should be in this game. Um, another Mario character that has not been in it that I, I'm surprised is not he's the assist trophy is Waluigi. And specifically the, sock, the, the strikers Waluigi needs to be in it. Because that Waluigi had so much charisma and character. It was unbelievable. I remember playing um, Strikers on the GameCube and he just had so much person I love playing as him because he was so funny to watch and even in those sports reels and openings of the beginning of the sports games was just so fun to watch him and Wario go crazy and get into trouble and get blown up it was just while Luigi could be in this game and ask and just bring and coordinate all the sports that he has going like his uh, Mario Kart uh, bike or um, his tennis racket his golf club his baseball bat or even his soccer ball, he could be that could be his final smash, his final or striker charge. So that could be really cool to see. Another one that fans have also been wanting to see, I could see coming in next generation of Super Smash is Gino. Um, he's from Mars RPG. That's really an unknown title that I haven't played and I don't know much about it. But the fans want Gino, and I believe they did even release a costume for Gino, kind of even giving the fans, hey, here's this a little bit. So I could see Gino coming to the switch portion of smash probably not the port he'd probably be a brand new character i could see down the line but i could, he's definitely going to be up there especially now that nintendo's starting to run out of its characters to pull from so i i had some trouble even making this list um for 13 because there's so many characters that were already been added and you're like okay what was most likely they're going to add um but the next one that's probably going to be added is from a newer series called like Xenoblade, and I think it's going to be Elma from like Xenoblade Chronicles X. Yes, she wasn't your, the main character. You had play, made your own avatar, but she was an influential p character in that game. She was your partner. She was there for you. She was right next to you. A lot of people loved Elma. Um, she also, also brings the female representation up in Smash, which is neat. And she has two different forms. I'm not going to spoil how she has two different forms, but that could be cooperated in some way, such as a Final Smash. So that could be that. And also speaking about female organization, what about a female villain that has not been in Smash yet? And I'm talking about Sia from Hyrule Warriors. Yes, Sia was such a brand new character in the Zelda series. I loved her, her staff was awesome, her look was unique, her powers were awesome, her multiplying form was awesome. I just feel like Sia deserves to be in Smash so bad. I, I, I don't care what y'all say, but Sia needs to be in it. I, she is my number two pick to be in Smash because her, her, she had, oh, High Warriors was just a good game and she was so different, so good. It was so good seeing a female villain in Zelda. It's so good. It would be the first, and I believe in Smash, that there'd be a female villain. So she's a perfect candidate in my opinion. Um, the next two characters which will probably be similar but a little bit different moves that is from the new ip arms i could see spring man the blue haired um spring guy who is shown in the trailer and his first one show and his counterpart ribbon girl who is also seems to be one of the mascots of that series 
and there probably will be more down the line which they show off but for right now we only have spring man and ribbon girl so i can see those two really making their own and i know nintendo likes to bring in new ips and bringing them into smash to get their um franchises out into the market because people who play smash may not play arms and says hey these are the characters from arms go play arms and see how you like that game so i could see spring man and ribbon girl at it one not maybe not both of them but just one of the two depending on who's more popular at the end when the game comes out and the next two characters are really the third party looking in like they did with cloud mega man bayonetta snake sonic cloud you know there were um you know characters brought in that weren't nintendo characters but it made smash more fun whoever thought we'd see sonic whoever thought we'd see mega whoever thought we'd see cloud um coming to a super smash Bros. game it was unthinkable so i really do believe that these two next two characters will have a big shot because they've been so big um for on the you know, switch that people are clamoring to get this game these games one being the game that's not even released yet for switch but people are dying to find out when it will be released on a Switch, and that's Ukulele. Um, I know a lot of people, especially myself, when it wants Banjo Kazooie on the Switch and then Smash. It's probably never going to happen. As much as I would love to see a new Banjo Kazooie game or Banjo Kazooie in the Smash games, it's probably never going to happen because Rare is owned by Microsoft and Rare owns the rights to Banjo Kazooie and not Nintendo. It's sad but true. However, Ukulele is owned by a third party. Uh, Playtonic Games. It's not owned by Microsoft, Nintendo, or Sony, and I, be- I know, I, I believe, I can maybe my interpretation is wrong, but I feel like a lot of people are wanting ukulele on a Nintendo console, i.e., the Switch now, not the Wii U anymore, because they does, because it really was Nintendo fans who really enjoyed Bandit Kazooie a lot more than the Microsoft fans or Sony fans. So I could just see that being an awesome duo to have play as. Um, they have character, it seems. I can't wait to play their game coming out. Uh, I can't wait for it to be on the Switch. So there's that character. My final character for this list, and I will be shocked if he is not on this next game. Or this, I would even say he's guaranteed to be on the port. And that's Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight it was, is a big indie game that really blew up in the video game world. It was just, his style is really cool. He's a very awesome character. And he's been really, really close with Nintendo. Um, Yacht Club Games has has just been supporting Nintendo for like crazy now. Um, Shovel Knight's games coming exclusively to the Switch with all the DLC content like Spectre Torment coming first on the Switch. It's not going to PS4 or, or Steam or whatever. It's going to the Nintendo first. Shovel Knight has an amiibo for the Nintendo Switch. So only third party at the time who's not in Smash has an amiibo. It's crazy to think about it, but he's not in a Smash game. Expect Shovel Knight in the next Smash game. Either it's a port or it's a new Smash. He's guaranteed to be in. There is no way Shovel Knight has been so close, and Yacht Club have been so close to Nintendo and not said, hey, let's have him in Smash. Now, granted, I don't know how you get into Smash. I don't know how you do it. Um, But Shovel Knight, I could see him being in Smash. But overall, this is my list of what I see as potential characters to be brought into super smash brothers series i would think this would be awesome now granted this is 13 let me just double check i'm sorry 14 characters i've chosen uh 13 if you don't count to um, arms characters but 14 original characters that have either been in smash or people have wanted to see or new characters it would be a great list to see and i could just and that's Let's just think about keeping all the other characters that have been in Smash before, like Mega Man and Cloud and Bayonetta. Adding these guys to the roster, that would be amazing. And it just really fleshes out the roster. And it's crazy how big this roster is getting. And I just adding these characters seems like a good solution. It, It really does. So I think these guys would be awesome. But that's my opinion. What is your opinion? What characters do you want to see in Super Smash Bros.? Comment below and subscribe to my channel to let me know who do you want in Smash? Do you agree with my picks? Do you disagree with my picks? Just let me know, and I'll get back to you, and we'll have a discussion. I love talking to you guys. All right, guys, until next time, bye.